Hello everybody and welcome back to some Monster Train. We are back playing it again straight after the last run, going in for a new run with what should be randomised guys again, going for Covenant Rank 6. We almost won the last one but we just didn't have enough units to support ourselves and it ended up leaving us in a situation so we, uh, yeah, we, we didn't do great. We're starting off with Sharpen, um, Molten Encasement and Focused Growth. These are all pretty interesting. I'm a little upset that we've got so many high cost cards in our starting deck. And if we could get something to alleviate that, that'd be great. Um, a bonus three stacks of burnout is nice, but I, I'm, I'm hopefully not going to play that. So let's just go with the guild marker for now and go with the cheaper shops. Um... We're probably going to want to go with the Rejuvenation. That's probably the easier build to, to jump towards. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Of course, we'll start this off. This is going to be difficult, definitely. Definitely going to be difficult. So, these are going to start off on this floor here. The Dreg won't do anything here. Um, pull issue down here still. We'll add sharpen to you as well. And then I think, do we, can we do this? Does this do anything for us? It kills one of you. It kills one of you, at least. None of you are dying now. We kind of just have to accept the pyre damage there. Can't get our money either. We enhance you, heal you. Yeah, bad, bad, this is a bad start already. A really bad start. We can't do anything about these guys here. We just don't have the damage to support it. Like, look at that. We're dealing nothing. We'll regen you. So we're still going to take yet more pyre damage here. And we're just having to, right now, accept that that's something that happens to us. So I think here we go with heal, heal, and heal. And there you go. That sorted that out. Good, good. We lost a little bit. It, that didn't feel great. And I think our cards definitely aren't amazing to start with. <sighs> Taking another Sharpen is nice. I'm going to go with Vine Grasp, though, because dealing three damage to the back line is really nice. And applying Stealth 2 to friendly units is also good. Although, I think... I think that the not targeted in combat works... Doesn't really work well. <laughs> it doesn't really work well at all with um, with spikes, which is kind of what we're building towards right now. So I'm gonna go with a molten casement, even though that's stealth as well. I I am yeah. Thinking about it, this just isn't a good grouping. Um, so we'll go with the remnant banner. Burnout. Revenge gives friendly burnout. We can go with the the lady of the house. We'll go with Lady of the House and try and get Endless on her. Or we could just go with this and, yeah, let's just absolutely beef her up. Get her real, real beefy. Um, let's purge some cards. Cool. Okay. I, I'm not super happy with that because we don't have anywhere to support that burnout right now. Of course, if we were taking the other trinket at the start, we might have done. But right now, we don't really have anything to support that. Extra damage done. I'm going to go with that. Again, we can just restart if we die early here. I'm going to go with that because we have the healing. And we're going to be wanting to heal regularly. So we place you down. We don't have any way of getting burnout back, do we? Or a unit back. So once she's played, she is she is effectively done for. Push you there as well. Adding a purge card into our deck there. Place you. Place you. Sharpen on you. Yeah. Okay. Um, vine grasp will make sure you die somehow okay yeah i was gonna say somehow you're not dying but i understand that now actually place you there to make sure you do die add restore to you to heal up get rid of our purge final wave already that's not looking great put that on you put that on you that on you now 
I'm gonna take some pie damage here as well from this guy. Oh god, I'm feeling I'm feeling this. Right, so now you can go down. Yes, okay. That's kind of what we wanted. Lady of the house is there to to do some destruction. We need some way to sustain her, really. So we'll go with Glimmer. Glimmer's always nice. Um Reformer unit is probably the thing that we want here. Uh another Lady of the House, I could go with Sweep and Slay. Or we could just go with regular old sweep. Let's go with regular old sweep. And try and get that upgraded a little bit. We've only got 100 coin arenas here. Um, I'm trying to think. Do we have any spells that desperately need upgrading? We have reduced costs, which would be good. I'm first of all going to go get a remnant, though. And go with our pirate and thug here. And go with... When you summon the second unit during a turn... No, let's go with spells, get an extra upgrade slot. That's going to be better for later on. And here we'll go with... That one, kill a non-boss unit. And take that on a ride with us. And I'm interested here. I'm 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 interested in where this where this takes us. This could be an interesting one, but I don't know. I'm I'm a little wary. This is starting out a bit peculiar. So I'd like our Paradon Thug on turn one. That's great. So we can place you here. We do that for you. We do that for you. And we put our Parathon Thug, which should get a kill. Um, yeah. And give us some money. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Do you do that there? Now, we don't have enough room for anything else on this floor. So, I think we actually place you here, ready to be burnt out. And we just go with some healing to get some kills. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're dying. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Um, Would a drag unit help? Oh, that would help. Good, 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 good. That, that, that makes me feel much happier about this situation. I'll leave that there. Um, so... Here we go with Glimmer, because, yeah, then we heal you up. We don't care what happens to you guys, honestly. I don't know how you're making out with such high health, but we'll put a drag up there ready. Right, you're going to burn out next turn. I think we come to you with a, a full restore. This is going to lead to some, to some, um, some damage on you, but higher damage for us. We're gonna have to just leave that as is. Y'all gonna get burnt out one. We should pull reform this turn though. We did. We go with Lady of the House. She gets an extra burnout and extra damage and health. We put her up there ready for next turn. Um, we go with... Hmm. I think we go with Sharpen still. That's not even gonna buff the damage we deal. Wow, I thought that was, but it's not. Um, let me just go with a dragon front. We're only dealing 100 damage here. Which ain't great. Which ain't great. Dealing 200 damage here. <laughs> this is not good. We can't do anything here to help. I oh, suppose we could have had applied regen there and that would have technically helped out. Dealing 13 damage. Okay, yep. Yeah, this was a bust. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was terrible. Oh, whoopsie! I restarted with the same clans. I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, let's 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 redo with different clans. Yeah, so that was a that was a bust. It, it looked promising. There was some cool stuff in there, but it just I don't know. It just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. So we're starting off with Stygian and um, and our main dude. Hellhorned. So we're getting Welder Helpers, Titan's Gratitude, and Crystalline Seeds. All pretty interesting. Welder Helpers can be very, very useful if built right. Um, X cards. We aren't starting with any X cards, which means that that's not really useful. But also, units gain plus three is like... I don't even get why that exists. So let's go with the that, and we'll try and build towards that. Uh, let's apply Frostbite. 
I, I, I genuinely don't even know why that plus three exists. Like, what, when is that ever going to be useful? Start with armor 10. Um, yeah. In the center with armor 10. So, we play you, and then we play you, and we play you. Okay. That worked out nicely. We play our welder helper here, which will kill you. Good. Oh, wait. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Looks a bit dangerous there. It's cool. Then we go with you and another welder helper in front. Make sure you all die. Final wave already. That's not a lot of damage. I have to say, that's not a lot of damage. We can't even kill that backline guy. So we just go with the damage we can get on you. You're going to heal him for five. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that went well. That didn't look like it was going to go great, but that went well. Okay, so we're looking for X cost cards. We didn't get any X cost cards. I'm going to go with another Titan's Gratitude here and just go for a full on like build like this. And do you know what? Let's go for another Welder Helper. Um, and... <sighs> Real Beat is always fun for a, for a up close and personal front of the deck. Let's go with Real Beater. Up close and personal front of the deck sort of guy. Front of the front of the queue. Um, do we want to be going with unit upgrades? I think we do. So let's go with Stygian Banner. Get a Stygian unit. Um... Spell weakness or in can't gain armor. Let's go with spell weakness and let's have a look at what uh, what we can do with the unit. So endless is great. Endless on on one of you is brilliant. We definitely want that. We'll go with plus the damage on you and we'll go with plus that on you. And that's actually pretty good. Getting an endless welder helper, it makes the other welder helpers really not very useful. Uh, but I think we can deal with it. Um, I think we can. I think we can do this. I think we can do this because we have that endless welder helper. The actual damage they're applying doesn't matter. So. We, I'm trying to think of spacing here. So we always start with five spaces. So that's one, two, three. But then he would be four, five. So yeah, we don't want to do that. So instead, we set up, we set up this on this floor. And here we just go with one of those. And this floor, we now go with that. And that. Okay, we torch. Yeah, we, we torch you, I think. Yeah. Okay. I've actually thought the Endless Welder Helper isn't as good as I initially thought because he's not going to always die every turn. Oh well, I think I think he still works as a tank. Meep. He says meep. Right, good, good. And a wave here. Um pretty bad roll. I think I think we just We just do this. Oh, I played a card back the wrong card back, didn't Yeah, that of course wasn't great. We can, however, get you in front there, and that does kill everyone. Good, good. Good, 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 good. That wasn't looking great to start with, but we, we pulled through. Um, <laughs> Titan's Gratitude. Um, another Welder Helper. No, let's go with... Let's go with Fortify. Pair imp unit in play. So we have currently three imps. So that would lower it down to seven, then to four. Technically, we can make him work. We can make him work. 
But I'm wondering, is he as good as the Lordstone Turtum? How many spells are we going to be playing? I mean, a good amount. We don't have space for him. Let's try out him instead. I've not really played with him before, but he could be interesting. So... I think we go here. A Stygian card. Get you there as a tank. Do we duplicate you? Or do we duplicate you? I think we duplicate you instead. This is just a bizarre run. It really is. Um, Remnant draft pick, a rare awoken. Let's go with a rare awoken draft pick. Yeah, we want we want that definitely. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Holy shit! Channel song could technically work with the consumer of crowns. That could be busted. Right. <laughs> this is interesting. This is certainly interesting. So the only problem, really, is if we draw a Consumer of Crowns on the first turn, we don't want that. So I think we set up this a little differently than we have been. We put you there, and we put you there, and we put you here. And then we just go with one of them there. Yeah. So of course you're going to be unplayable for now. Let's um, apply armor to you. Is that even going to help you at all? How much damage are you taking? So you're taking 2, 4, 4, and 20. So you've got 20 health. That's not going to help. You are definitely going to die. But uh, I don't particularly care, to be honest. So let's instead apply the armor to you, because we know that we can do something with you. Right. Let's let you die. Welder helper, we have one of you there. Who is the extra space for here? I've I've missed something here, haven't I? Oh, it's because I've put this one on a different floor, that's fine. Welder helper, you can go up there. Okay, good. Welder helper two, you can go. Do you know what? You can go here for now. Buff him up. Get rid of that. Go with this guy here to save our welder. So we now have three welders in place. With a fourth coming in. Now. Oh, I forgot that that's a possibility. We need to get rid of those train stewards. For some reason, I, I forgot that, that the train stewards would do that. Let's do that. Ah, oh, this is this is a weird this is a weird build I got going on here. And I can tell you, it's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. So you've got endless again. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, so if I put how many spaces do you take up? You take up three. So if I put you here, you become a one. Well that kinda works. And then we put you here. Okay. So that did work out in the end. But we, we drastically have to get rid of our... Um, oh, doubles the amount of rage. Enhances all spells in hand. Let's go with that. Spike of the Stygian. Uh, do we want another one of you? No. We'll skip units this time round. And what do we want here? I feel like we want unit space to get more... Yeah, we'll go with unit space to get more more imps on each floor. This is this is a very... I don't know. It's, it's a very peculiar one, though. And I'm, I'm a bit confused by this. Um, this, is, this is difficult, too, because I very much want to upgrade Big Boy. But at the same time, getting rid of getting rid of some of these 
Train Stewards is like massive for us. But I think I think we just go here. Pick a unit. Go the Alpha Fiend. We'll, we'll, we'll take him. Quick. We definitely want Quick on you. Upgrade damage. Um, yeah, you're a sweep unit, so we'll upgrade damage on you. Incant, gain one armor. Doesn't really help anyone. Let's go with a reroll. Endless again. So now we have three endless welder helpers. Uh, yeah. Start with rage seven. I think rage seven on him is pretty good. Let's keep him alive a bit longer as well. Okay. Getting a bit spicy, I have to admit. Apply 20 frostbite on strike. Damage spells cost less on the floor. Have we been using damage spells that much? I think we should take that because the frostbite hasn't helped all that much. I'm just worried for sweep units now. Sweep units are going to be pretty bad for us. Spell shield 2. We can probably get around that. We can probably get around that. Although our, our spells are pretty important. So you're starting with haste. So yeah, drawing you on turn one is not good. Um, we're not taking much damage here. So let's just first go with this. And you know what? I'm just going to get rid of spell shields here. On units that I can. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Ah, oh, shit. I missed out on the money. No. It's a risky bisky. Well, let's try it. Train steward. Ugh. Ugh. Get in there as a, as a willing sacrifice. You can go there for now. You can go there for now. Right. This is this is weird. So you can go there. Apply sap and frostbite to them all. Oh wait, that's just a one. Okay, we'll still sap you though. Right. Okay. Then we can get you in, like, here. Apply more armor to you, just in case we've got some craziness going on. Okay. Good, you should be dead that turn. Of course, we didn't draw our... We didn't draw our dude at all, which is a shame. Get rid of the damage shield here. Okay. We should draw him this turn, though. The haste there didn't help. Yeah, so we drew, we drew him this turn. So then he can go there, and he's like our last line of defense. We can do that. That. Okay, that kills him anyways. Okay, 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 okay. We just need a way to to, to enable our, our big boy more often. Enabling our big boy more often would be really, really good. Um, I don't think we need any of those. Our deck's pretty fat as it is. Sacrifice an imp. Is good, but... No, do you know what? We'll take that, because we've got Endless. Sacrificing Imps is actually pretty important for us. Um, We could go for Double Trinket. Or we could go with Removal. I'm really, really going to go for Double Trinket. Like... Oh, yes. Sketches of Salvation is so good. Um, Summon Abilities trigger an additional time is also really, really, really good. Because that means that our uh, our little dudes are going to trigger for um, 15 armor twice. Which is really good. Meaning they're going to get 30 armor. I think we should go with that, yeah. And then we can start purging some units here. Our deck is fatter than it's ever been, but... Do you know what? It's fine. This is, this is kind of a crazy one. This is kind of a crazy one. Multi-strike. I don't think we can deal with that. Of course, we're, we're hoping that our big, big, big boy just spawns on the second floor automatically. He didn't, 
but we did get a pretty strong flaw there. That isn't a bad flaw. Um, I think we can play you and play you there, and that keeps you alive. We can then do that to make sure you all die. Good. Right, so then we go... Another welder helper here. We can place you there. Channel song. Buffs up our welder helper. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to get all three of these in play. Okay. I'm... Uh, yeah, now that we've got the uh, the salvation sheet, whatever it's called, sketches of salvation, I'm pretty happy with how this is playing out. Uh, add some armor to you. You're dying. No, you're not. Now you're dying. Now you're dying. Okay. I'm happy. This is a crazy weird build. Very, very strange. So, because these guys are endless, we should sacrifice this guy to draw one. It's probably better that we sacrifice this one. But we don't need gain two, draw one, though. That's the thing. Like, what's the point in doing it if we don't need to do it? Heck it, you can go up there. Just get out of my face. Yeah, also this means less less units to accidentally draw. Um, hmm. Yeah, we can leave that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very happy about this, this whole business. So now we can play him. He gets played there, of course. It just depends when we draw him. We need to kind of draw him middle of the fight once all of our uh, all of our units are up. The problem is, I do believe our welder helpers could appear on this floor, but our sacrificing imp thing sorts that out. This is not a good floor for this. Um, he does have sweep, of course. Sweep is bad for us. I think as much as that is bad on that floor, it shouldn't help us much on the other floors. And we do have endless. Which means that we can do some stuff, but we're not going to do some stuff because we can't. <laughs> we're not going to do some stuff because we can't. So we'll see how this works. Damn, you're not dying. Okay. Uh, let's fortify you. Let's see if that helps. Okay, now you're dying. Good. Good, good, good. Right. I, I... Yeah, I do think the X cards are still very valuable to us. Sacrifice an Imp is also good for 50 damage. Battering Ram's better, though. Battering Ram's a lot of damage for us. Right. Now, do we start... Do we start... Getting rid of some cards and stuff. And getting some spells done. I'm looking at spells and looking what we need to upgrade. There's Channel Song's a good upgrade. Fortify's a good upgrade. But our spells really aren't that important. It's all about our units. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick with a fat deck. Go to the caverns. Don't like either of those. Even though they're X cost cards, I don't want extra cards in my deck I don't need. I should have taken it, really, but it's fine. Uh, we'll definitely go with that on you. Yeah. Actually, shall we? Should we go with it on something like this? Who does it Who does it better benefit? Because you're already dealing tons of damage and have tons of health. Let's do it on you. Upgrade with one with plus 10 damage. You can have damage. Endless. All the endless boys. <laughs> I don't give a damn. It's, it's crazy. This doesn't even make sense. This, this is just such a hodgepodge build. Right now, let's hope we get our guy in the middle. So, this is what we don't really want. We don't really want our welder helpers spawning in this floor, but they can. We could we could technically get a floor that's just welder helpers, which would be terrible. Uh, we'll put you there. Put you down here. You can go up there. It could happen, and it's not great if it does. Um, yeah, you go up front. So... 
Sacrifice you. Yep, that's good. That's what we wanted. We can just do that on you. Right. Good, good, good. So our big boy's gone now, and we're not going to see him for a little while, most likely. Let's put you up there. Welder helper. You can fit here. Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to do anything with this, so let's... Oh, no, don't. We're going to encant him tons. Don't do that. You're at one health. Okay. Uh, three available. This is a good chance. Oh, my God. It's so sad when that happens. 260 damage. The problem is, even if we get him now, we don't have space for him. We need to think about that. You don't even have space for him. I don't even know what happened to this unit up here, but yeah. He didn't get to do anything good. Um, I think we go like that. Like that. Like that. Get you as dead as we can. We did take a bit of pie damage here. What's our top floor doing now? No, top floor's fine. Still can't play him anywhere. Um, we've got a few welder helpers in play, but not many. Okay, there you go. We can play him now, but we don't have space for him. He's he's a three unit space one. Oh, we can't we can't make space for him. That's so annoying. Um, we just can't make space for him. Okay, he's got to be left for now. We kind of want this floor to clean out a bit so we can make space. It's just not happening for us. Good, you're dead. You're dead. Okay. This is this is the, the probably the weirdest the weirdest time we've had with this. Of course it gets rid of the one we needed. God damn it. This floor's going down. It's gonna give us a good amount of frostbite. This floor, we can't do anything with. This floor, we can't do anything with. Sacrifice an imp to gain this. Oh, I just, we can't kill that guy. And if we don't draw him next turn. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. He's dead. Okay. Okay. We've, we've, we've just got too many cards in our deck right now. We need to start removing. Uh, double armor on a unit. Discard your hand and draw five. Let's just let's just get rid of that. Uh, I think now we probably want to go for more space, considering the amount. Yeah, we do. We want to go for more space, considering the amount of um, imps we have going on right now. Right. Unit upgrade, pyre health. The duplication on on him would be nice. It would be really nice. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm going to go with the removal, though, because I need to get rid of these bloody stupid train stewards. Getting on my nerves. Uh, large stone. We could put that on you. We could put it on you. Yeah, let's put the large stone on you. Start with Rage. Let's go with that on you. And... Apply Frostbite 20 on attacks. Uh, do we have many two-cost damage cards? Not really. Let's just do that then. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to feel about this. I think I think we're, we're, we're on for a loss here unless we get a really good pull in the middle here. I think we're on for a loss otherwise. It's not going to be great. Oh, that's a good pull on the middle. That's a good pull on the middle. Oh my god, that's probably the best thing we could have imagined. Um, <laughs> That's very good. So. With. Uh, this is difficult. So, I'm, I'm just trying to plan this out. So you're going to. Have you got quick? Oh my god. God, you've got quick. Does he normally have quick? Oh my god. 
Okay, that's great. Um, I, I don't think we can survive this. So you're, as a whole, you're dealing... You're going to be dealing 48 damage. That will give you 30. So, let's work this out. So, if we put if we put you behind, you there, and then you there, what would happen is, World of Helper would take... Well, he'd have 31 health. So, World of Helper would take 8 damage... Then he'd take 20, so for 28. And then he'd take one hit. I think we can do this. Forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I think we can do this. Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad I planned that out and looked into that. Right, you can go up here because you've got big health. You can go there. My god. Um, hmm, where can we do this? Let's have a look, see. You're both dying, that's fine. We might as well just play both of you on here. And I think that's all we can do for that floor. We don't have enough armor to do anything here. Uh... You're dying. You're taking 33 damage. So, I think we apply sap to you. Do we do anything before that, though? Yeah, let's kill you. We apply sap to you. Then we damage you. That massively reduces the amount of damage we're taking there. That's good. So, how are you doing for health, dude? I have not actually checked. Oh, you're fine. You are chilling. You are absolutely chilling. So, we've got something with sweep here. Oh, no, we got slings with multi-strike. That's all, that's all that is. So, I think we put you in front. We we do that twice. Massively reduces the damage we're taking. Then we kill you. And all of you die. You, Our fiend does take 12 damage. Oh, my God. I did not know there was a guy up there. I, I need to pay more attention. <laughs> I did not know you were there, sir. You're dying right now. Is this going to fix it? It is. Good. Uh, we'll even put a bit more on you to, to make sure you survive a little longer. We'll take care of you. Okay, we, we really don't need to worry about this guy getting up to the pyre because, of course, he just dies. Uh, Channel Song is just going to be our uh, train steward. And, yeah. I think we still play it, though. Yeah, I think we still play it. Because then we get a, a, a fairly beefy welder helper up here. With another welder helper supporting him. And then we do that to you. You make it. But how are these guys doing? Wait, what the fuck? Well, this floor's dealing no damage. Which is a travesty, to be honest. That's that's a bit... A little bit of a, of a, of a ruining factor here. Because... If we'd had a if we'd have had a fresh imp here, that would have worked. That's a shame. That's a shame. So we can't kill them either. He's he's healing now. What the hell? So we have to accept the death on that floor. We have to accept some pyre damage as well. So what's going on here? Oh god, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, we're dead here. I've not seen that enemy before with the trample. I mean, that's a good start. We're still dead, though. 26 damage on a trample with 300 HP. We're so dead, yeah. I've not even seen that trample enemy before. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, so I was not prepared. But we did well. We did well. Um, summon triggers personal best at 50. Nice. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one.